My next stuck high voltage capacitor for the MLA loop. On the inside of the jar, I've got a galvanized flashing sheet. And on the outside of the jar, I've got two plates, split plates. And I can adjust the capacity by moving these plates up or down. The way it works is that I've got from this plate to the center conductor inside the jar, I've got 100 picofarad. And from the center conductor to this plate, I've got 100 picofarad. So you put those two capacitors in series and you come up with 50 picofarad. And by sliding the jar inside of these plates, you can adjust it to whatever capacity value you want. The advantage of this is that you connect one side of the loop here with silver solder, and you connect the other side of the loop here with silver solder, and you've got minimal resistance to the capacitor. If you were using a conventional air variable capacitor, you would have all of the mechanical um, bushings and tension fittings that come into play to create more resistance. With this type of capacitor, the loop attaches directly to the outside plate here and here. And you adjust the capacity by slipping the jar up and down in between those two plates. You can put a screw thread shaft on the cap and make a mechanical arrangement to adjust it by hand. Okay, here's the update on this um, new uh, butterfly type capacitor. It um, uses an outside plate for one side of the loop and another outside plate for the other side of the loop. And there's a center coil of uh, flashing on the inside so what you get is you get um, you get 100 picofarad from the left-hand plate to the center coil on the inside. And then from the center coil on the inside, you get another 100 picofarad out. So you put those two in series and you come up with 50. And my, need, my loop needs um, 42 picofarad to put it on 14.260 uh, megahertz. And that's the uh, result and scan. There we go, popped in. 1.01 at 50 ohms and no reactants. It's very narrow. And I've got my rotor on there and it's working good. And my ferrite coupling. And that works good too. Easy. No fooling around, it just works every time. Here we are inside now, checking the coax as it comes into the shack. And um, the cable adds a little bit of uh, variance to the tuning, but it's still very acceptable. 1.1 1 .1 at uh, 14.2635 and uh, 50 ohms. Impedance 50 ohms resistance and uh, 4.9 ohms of reactance. Okay, here we are on a test, turned up to 14.265. WB9TH. And here's the peak value. WB9TH, peaking right around 100 watts peak envelope power. Here we are with the uh, Dentron MLA 2500. 
Beak envelope power. WB9TH. And that's going up to 500 watts peak envelope power.